Hey fellers, this is not the video I thought I'd be recording coming back after four months of YouTube. The last few videos I made were about a game called Aces of Thunder that is still supposed to be releasing sometime in 2023 with months running out and no release date still announced. I don't know when we're going to be getting this game or if it really exists. Since the announcement trailer, which was very cool, we've had two other announcements. One of them was just exclusively released onto Instagram, which has an account, I think of 137 followers, not exactly a booming social media page, but it did show us that the game is still planned to release. The last video was July 7th, which is two months and about two and a half months from today. And to be honest with you, that's concerning. And when you announce a game that is going to be exclusive to not only the PlayStation, but to a PlayStation VR, what you're going to get is you're going to get people going out and buying HOTAS systems or buying PlayStation VRs. It's behind my mic. I'd grab it. And you have people spending six, seven hundred dollars to play a game that isn't even released yet just because they want to have the hardware for when it does release. That includes me, by the way not only to play the game, but to make content for it. And since I have now a new apartment, it's not very large, so I don't have space to go and like play games standing up. And since most of the games on the PlayStation VR require you to stand, what I ended up doing was actually buying Gran Turismo and then getting a racing wheel, just so I could play a VR game sitting down and not just have this $700 piece of equipment sitting on the side of my desk. The point is, I'm surprised. I'm surprised about where we are. Aces of Thunder update video coming back was supposed to be, oh my gosh, the game's gonna release. We have all of this trailer. We have all of this information. And the only thing that really is getting me excited is that it's VR and that you can control the backseat gunner with the hands, which even that I'm, I'm confused about how that's going to work. Cause if I'm using my HOTAS systems and I wanna switch to the backseat, do I gotta pick up some controllers? I don't know. I don't even know. HOTAS systems aren't even confirmed yet. So there's so much we don't know, besides that the number of planes is extremely limited. We now see what the main menu looks like and how you select planes. I thought we'd have a lot more. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. This isn't the video I expected to make coming back. Um, I don't even know if the game still exists. And it's very strange because it's still on the PlayStation Store. It still has the website, but you can only wishlist it. And it has an Instagram that nobody's promoting. Even worse, it has a Twitter that nobody's promoting. I mean, look at this thing. It's ridiculous. It's not a small studio behind this project. It's Gaijin Entertainment. And the game looks like a copy of War Thunder that they made available for the PlayStation VR 2. And I wish we had more information, but we just don't. There's not even really online forums about Aces of Thunder because not many people seem to know it even existed or even was announced. And I was really hoping to like set myself up as somebody who could cover the game because I'm super interested in it as a PlayStation War Thunder Sim player. Like I am the perfect target demographic. Well, now we have no information. So I will keep you guys posted and keep you updated now that I am back, finally have things working. Like I have a really nice setup here. I can actually, I'll show you it. It's nice. Got some flags, got some soundproofing. If you're wondering about the Rocket, whoa. If you're wondering about the Rocket League, it's how I record my audio. I just turned the game volume down. Yeah, so I have all of this stuff now and I'm finally back. I was hoping to cover the game, but it's not gonna happen. Not right now, at least. Uh, if something does change, I'll keep you all posted. Before I go, before I go, I have started a Discord and I've started a Patreon. So there's a few things I wanna get, like um, I got the new camera, which is nice, but I need like a memory card for it and I need some batteries or else I can only record like 10 minutes at a time. And it's gonna be really annoying if I wanna do any type of face cam stuff, maybe a, a green screen right back here I can just lift up. So the Patreon is there to have you guys help support me if you so choose. Obviously, never, ever, ever feel obligated to. And I'll keep y'all posted to a T about things. I wanna be as transparent as possible, especially if you guys are investing money to help me improve this channel. But the Discord, the Discord should be fun. So the Discord's all set up. Feel free to hop into it. I am still new to Discord, um, so, you know, go easy on me. If you have any suggestions or things you've seen in other channels and you want to, uh, 
tell me about it, feel free. Go ahead, that's definitely the best place to contact me. And I could use your guys' help with some future videos as well. So I will be, all that information will be on the Discord. So feel free, join the link. It's down below in the description and pinned comment. And you guys can go check it out. See ya.